Shalom, one person, all praise and glory, Yahweh, Barashim, Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah, double on, Father Nelson, and Sati Tillet. Today's lesson, one of the basic ones, but it's women. I don't know if that's what I'm saying, but let's get to it, though. Proverbs 33 and 1, sorry, 33 and 3. Give not thy strength unto women, nor the ways to the sh that which destroy of kings. Woman is the, as they say, woman is the way that they say, uh, destroy a king, man. That's some, that's some shit, man. Woman is like one, really, and mostly, um, um, a brother downfall, man. It's woman. It's one of the biggest downfalls we have, bro. It's something that we always know, yet we like, they always look over. Let's get our Proverbs. Well, Proverbs says a lot about women, man. Proverbs says a lot about women. Or it's 25 and 24. It is better to dwell in the corner of a housetop, so all like basically an attic, than in a brawling woman in and in a white house. It's better being on top of like a little corner, man, just being a big ass house, being a mansion of a brawling woman, man. And that's some shit. That's some shit, bro. I think it's Proverbs 21 9. Uh, it's, like I said, it's going to say the same thing though. Like, you know, it repeats itself twice. So, it's like April. Like, don't forget this. Like I said, it is, it is, better, to, it is better to dwell in a corner of a house top than with a wrong woman inside a white house. Basically, saying it's better to live alone, like a little apartment of a big ass mansion, basically. If you want to talk about skill, that's one of the skills, man. There's a little apartment. Shitty ass apartment. You have a big ass mansion and shit, bro. Now they're here. Then it says, It is better to dwell in the wilderness than a contentious woman and an angry woman. It can't suck. And a contentious and angry woman. See how much is like. See how much is gonna be fucking. Life be hell, man. By woman, bro, like it's not, it's not worth it at the end of the day, man. I'm gonna start giving them a blood. Remember, like, they're there for you, they're gonna, they're your bone until never, until they're, they're your bone, but not a long as time that they're gonna turn you into them. In the comment, get this too, real quick, though. One of the biggest, one of the biggest, the biggest downfall of our people, man. Oh, this, they make them make our people, simps make it people. Are. It's like a fall, like a fall in love, like bro. Like hey, pick yourself up, man. Pick yourself up. Don't fucking. Don't try it like yeah, like, bro. Like she's, she's the one. Like she, like yeah, she's perfect for me, bro. Like that's not. Thing is this, bro. I'm gonna get first king 11 11. Sorry, verse up. Dude, look up, look up Solomon. This is what we read about Solomon, right? But King Solomon loved many strange women together with, a, with the daughter of Pharaoh, with women of Moabites, Anamites, Edomites, Zidonians, and Hittites, right? So he had a bunch of women, right? Now jump to verse 4. For it came to pass when Solomon was old, and that his wife turned away his heart after other gods. And his heart was not perfect with the Most High that his power, and his heart was as was his heart of David his father. And now let's get back to Proverbs. Proverbs 31, verse 3. And it says, Did not that shrink unto women? Nor the ways that which destroy drive kings. So it shows you that one of the kings that fell from women, man, was was Solomon. Let me get the last one though. I'm gonna just glance over this one though. Is it, you just get the idea, but just like you just need to bang on somebody, so man.
I'm trying. I just, I just want. I just want some of this. Just give like give you a brief example. This man. Wow, that's hard sixteen though. Then, then when Sam sent to Gaza, right? He said he went to Gaza and saw saw there a harlot, and he went unto her. And it was told that the the Gadzite said unto Samson, saying, Samson come, is come hither, and they can press, can pass him, and lay away for him all night. They built, they gave the city, they're all quiet, saying in the morning, when is the day we shall kill him? When is it the day we shall kill him? And Samson lay till midnight, and arose at midnight, and took two doors at the gate of the city, and put into two posts, and went away with them. Bar and all, and put them upon his shoulders, and carried them to, to the top of before Hebron. And it came to pass afterward that he loved a woman in the dear valley of Sorek, her name was Deliah. And the lords of Philistines came to her and said, and sent unto her, entice him, see where, wherein his great strength lieth, by what means we shall, may, we shall prevail against him, that we may bind him to afflict him. And may give thee, every one of us, 1,100 pieces of silver. So, right, so, so, that's a fellow woman named Deliah, and the, the Lord of the Philistine, trying to convince, like, hey, bro, it's, make me tell your secret, and then you'll get 1,100 pieces of silver, man. The, and Deliah said to Samson, tell me, I pray thee, where thou brought great strength lieth, and where thou might be bound to afflict thee. So the woman did, did exactly exactly that, man. Did exactly that, right? Let me jump away over here, though. Jesus, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna jump to fifteen, and I said unto him, because she like she constantly asking me over and over because because Samson was saying some shit that's totally not true, and like they'll try it and they're like, obviously be out of it. And say, she said unto him, How canst thou say I love thee when thy heart is not with me? Thou hast mocked me these three times that hast not told me where thy great strength lieth. And it came to pass when she pressed him daily for her words and urged him, so his soul was vexed unto death. Then he told her all, all his heart and said unto her, Thou hast not come razor upon my head, for I have been Nazarite unto ye, how will? From my mother's womb, if I've been shaving, my strength will go over me, and I always shall become weak, like many other men. So he becomes weak, man. She told he told her, and it's like he told her, he told her the truth, like what strength is life. Then we jump to jump to 20 then. I'm back with 19. And she made him as faulty upon her knees, and called upon him for a man. She called him to shape off the seven locks of his head, and she began to afflict him, and she went away from him. So he, he, she fucking betrayed him, man. Like, she's like, I'm going tell you a secret. And now what she did, she just fucking just went off, man. Went the fuck off. So, like, that's one thing, like, if, if, you, if you're giving strength to one man, that they're gonna fucking... Don't do it, bro. You see what happens to them? You have to tell them, don't do it, man. If that move all praise will be held by Shimon Shabbos and Rukadash, until next time, Shalom.